guys, it's Glenn from Glenn's Car Collection and we're driving uh, one of my dream cars, the McLaren 600 LT. Now I had a 570S if you follow the channel and the 600 LT is like the GT3 version if these were 911s. So you have the same 3.8 liter V8, but this time you're getting 592 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque. So 30 more horsepower. So Glenn, let's drive in manual mode here. So everything you do, you gotta activate. So we're, we got uh, suspension and we got uh, throttle. So we're gonna drive in both in sport and we actually have to press manual and we have to activate it. So now we could shift for ourselves. I'm getting glare in the rear view mirror where I think there's a car behind me and there isn't. <laughs> All right. Let's try going right here. So in Europe, they measure horsepower differently than ours. So in Europe, the 570S gets 570 horsepower. Here, it gets 562. In Europe, this gets 600 horsepower. Here, it's 592. There's nothing changed with the tune or anything like that. The difference is just how they measure horsepower. And of course, it's actually a uh, winter and it's 60 degrees, so it's, it's hot in here. I don't want to turn the air conditioning on and make it uh, hard to hear. So why is this car quicker? And LT stands for long tail. The McLaren race cars were long tail, so it's just like an homage to that. It's only about an inch longer than a normal uh, McLaren. Is there such thing as a normal McLaren? I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna go through some S turns. We're gonna take it, pull it over, look at some of the uh, the features. We have our climate control right here and you have your little race car driver with the helmet on. It's a lot rougher and a lot louder than a 570S. So we just, I owned a 570S, we just reviewed a GT 570 a couple weeks ago. That was a lot quieter, a lot more comfortable. This is their race car version essentially. So it's a lot more hardcore and you feel it. You have these race inspired seats that will go over. Think of them as like the sport buckets on the Porsches. So I love this Alcantara steering wheel and this is the steering wheel you want. I believe it's optional in the 570. I don't know if it's standard in the 600 LT. Let's downshift. You got a great dual clutch transmission, but you want these carbon fiber paddle shifters. They're a must. Otherwise you get these cheap plastic ones that are feel so cheap. So basically the 600 LT is so good it killed the resale value of my car. Now you can get a spider version, a coupe. They're all rear wheel drive. Same engine, but it's tuned for more horsepower. Now these roads are pretty smooth and this, this is car is bumpy, of course. It's got a really, really, really stiff suspension. Probably the stiffest that I've driven in a long time. It's loud. You even get some uh, flames you could shoot out of the exhaust. You have a front lift kit. This will be fine on this speed bump. But to get out of the dealership, I use the stock down here for the front lift. Lots of speed bumps here for McLaren drivers. So in the real world, it's not as easy, just like if you were driving a GT3 in the real world, right? So. But this car is fast. Zero to 60, I believe in under three seconds. All right, so we're gonna take it up to a parking lot here. We'll go through uh, all the features and then we're gonna take it out some real cool roads on the way back so you won't want to miss the end of this video. Thanks again for subscribing. I'm approaching 16,000 subscribers. Let's keep it going and get me to 20,000. Now we even have a shut off. Look, it's a 2019 vehicle. So special thanks to DCH Acura in Verona, New Jersey for providing this car. They always have 80 to 100 what I'll call Glen cars. And uh, it runs the gamut from McLarens to Lamborghinis, Ferraris, then you have AMGs. Porsche 992 stick shift GT3s. They sold their 992 GT3 manual. That was in the uh, Python green that I love so much. Though I would probably get shark blue to be honest. I have a tenant that just ordered a shark blue GT3 or has one on order. All right, so where we drove the 570 GT in the snow, 
it's finally 60 degrees today <laughs> and we can have a little fun with this car sounds good the dual clutch is one of the best in the business i would say this just is, is just as good as pdk maybe even better All right, so let's pull over here and go over the car. Hey guys, it's Glenn from Glenn's Car Collection. Here we are in the parking lot now with the 600 LT. It's so windy out, I may have to voice this over, but we have the ceramic brakes. We have sticky tires. We have a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8. And again, 592 horsepower because we measure horsepower differently in America here rather than 600, 475 foot pounds of torque special thanks to dch acker in verona new jersey for providing the car so what's great about the 600 lt is you have the exhaust right here and this thing actually shoots flames if you follow my instagram you know i was at the debut of the 600 lt with ice t ice t and i were in the same car together me in the driver's seat and him in the passenger seat real cool guy beautiful car in this uh ceramic gray color now you actually do have a decent trunk, so I could actually go to hockey with my McLaren. Not that you should do that. So you here you have, uh, well, what's really good is you have the carbon fiber package and you have these seats. I'm getting a little too old for these seats, but you'll probably be just fine. Parking brake on the side here, you could pop the trunk. The trunk has actually plenty of room. Now we actually pop the trunk through the key. Whoops, that's my BMW key. Here's the 600 LT key and we could actually pop the trunk right here. And it is plenty, you can fit a ton of stuff here. You actually charge the battery through here, if I remember correctly. So the SeaTech charger is in there and uh, really roomy, more roomy than a 911. Maybe not as deep, but you could fit some uh, decent luggage in here. All right, so that's closed. Let's just pop it one more time. There you go. So that's, uh, this is the unlock button, the McLaren symbol, the front trunk. Obviously that's all you have in locking the doors. Now we're gonna get into these seats, which is challenging for a hockey player with a bad back. And I like you have carbon fiber here too. You have carbon fiber everywhere on this car. So what we'll do is we'll close it and start it up real easy. Engine start. It's the start, the stop button. You got neutral, remember it's a dual clutch. Now I'm gonna show you something in reverse. So here is the parking brake. We have all Alcantara, we have the racing seats, which I believe are standard on this. And uh, we can drive in manual mode, which we won't, because we are we have launch control, which we're not gonna use, because this car's for sale, you could buy it today. So let's put it in reverse. And that brings up the backup camera right here, which is awesome. The only problem is when I'm driving, my paddles are gonna be blocking it, right? So I'm gonna back up right now. Now I can't see anything behind me, and I have blind spots everywhere. See pillars, you can't see anything. So you kinda gotta like, Worm your head, they're not kidding when it says check your surroundings. All right, so dual clutch transmission, so it'll roll on hills forward and backward, just like a real dual clutch. So we we uh, we rolled right there. And you go through the menus here, so essentially you press the buttons. This is the McLaren button here, it's kind of like the home button. We can press air here, we got the stop start. I don't know how to, how do I disable that? Okay, disable that right there. And uh, then we can have climate control inside, which we wanna do, we wanna keep it a little cooler. We can make the fan noise a little higher here. We have dual zone, so if your significant other likes it cold or hot or whatever. Down here, we're gonna keep the uh, ESC on, and you have normal sport and track for both. So we'll drive in manual mode, so we, everything you gotta activate, and then the manual will come across. So a lot of people tell me they drove one of these cars, they rented it, they couldn't get it in manual mode. Well, that's how you get it in manual mode. You always have to activate it. Now, it doesn't have the sound editing that the other cars do. Garbage cans blowing in the wind. So it's really loud in here. But it makes for a fun drive. And the dual clutch is just as good as Porsche. I would even say probably better than Porsche, to be honest. Better than Porsche? Yeah, I believe it is. So let me, uh, again, these are bumpy roads here. So it's, it beats you up a little bit. This is for, you know, somebody who really wants to go to the track or, you know, drive very spiritedly on the street. If you don't want to do any of those, I would get the 500 GT. Let me just fix my hat here. Cause uh, the dealership, 
Montclair Acura has a 500 GT that we just reviewed, it's still for sale. He wants them a little softer, more comfortable, a little quieter, I would go with that. All right, here we go. So now we're going to the twisty roads. I promise you, if you stuck with us, we would hit those twisties. All right. <laughs> you're a little wet so we got to be careful now you feel everything you run over a pebble you can really feel it in this car now because it's loud and you hear all those visceral noises you have a really good uh, perception of speed where say my BMW you know 80 feels like 60 this because you feel every bump and it has hydraulic steering instead of electric which most supercars have electric you could really feel what's going on and it does give you a sensation of speed. You can't see too much in the rear view mirror. All I see is that tail. Now the shifts are rough on purpose. If we drive in comfort road, it's a lot more comfortable, but they kind of want to give you the sense of theater. So the 600 LT to me is like driving an Aventador. It's giving you that sense of theater first. Performance, yes, just like an Aventador, but also a lot of theater, which is missing in a lot of cars these days. I'm never gonna get a chance to drive a 600 LT again, so we're gonna turn around and, and go back. Now, there may be a section here where we could just accelerate, let's accelerate. Wow. <laughs> All right. So that was a little acceleration there. All right, guys, just for you, I'm doing the twisties one more time, all right? Only for you, because I know how much you love it. So just the way this car turns in, and how there's no... You see how quickly? No dual clutch responds that good. Maybe PDK on a 992 turbo, but otherwise this is superior in, in every way. Now these seats, they're hard to get in and out, but once you're in them, they're actually fine. I have a lot of room here. So I'm six feet tall, 180 pounds. Uh, if I was 220, I think I'd fit in these seats just fine once I'm in them. Now again, I, those shifts are tough. You know, my 570 didn't shift like that at all. Those shifts are tough because it's creating some kind of, you know, a theater here. So what we could do is we're gonna keep it in manual mode and we're gonna go into normal for both and activate. And now you see we got more quiet right away. Did you notice the tone go down? And now see the shifts are a lot smoother, right? So I'm driving this for you guys, you know, I'm taking one for the team by doing it in a harsher setting for suspension and throttle. But the reality is you can make this car smoother. Now you can't really escape the suspension being stiff, it's still like the GT3 of 570s. So imagine you bought a luxurious 992 and 4S or turbo, and it's a car you could drive, you know, for hours on end and be comfortable, or you drove the GT3, which is a much stiffer, or GT3 RS. So this 600 LT is essentially McLaren's GT3 RS. Somebody doesn't like air, because everything is shut off in this car. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to the speed bumps. All right, so while we're going over speed bumps, why don't we just try the automatic transmission? So we're going to just press the manual go away. Now it's going to shift for itself. It won't shift. It's This part is where it probably will let you down a little bit. It's not as telepathic as PDK. But believe me, if you can afford a 600 LT, you better drive a manual mode all the time. Otherwise, I'm going to come to your house, your house and take your keys away because that's why you drive the 600 LT, because you can drive it in sport mode and do all these things. All right, so there'll be one more place coming up that we can accelerate. And again, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. All that stuff is free. Get me to 20,000 subscribers and that'll certainly open up doors for me, allow me to review cool cars. And again, special thanks to DCH Acura in Verona, New Jersey. So we're gonna come up to a real cool street here where we can do a little acceleration. And then uh, we'll say goodbye. <laughs>
All right, so now efficiency, not that this is an efficient car, but it is keeping us in sixth gear at 30 miles an hour and fifth gear at 27 miles an hour. So it's trying to eke out from this twin turbo V8 it's must gas, best gas mileage as possibly can. Now on these roads, which are smoother, the ride is definitely smoother, but it is, it is a very stiff car. Let's not kid yourself here. Gorgeous car. I mean, psh, I don't think any McLaren looks as good as the 600 LT. And to be honest, it cost me money because it destroyed the resale value on my 570S. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn up here and then we're gonna have one more spot to accelerate. So again, I'm gonna press manual and then I'm gonna press activate. And now we're in manual mode. So it's a dual clutch, so remember, it's just like a manual transmission where it will roll back on hills either way and driver reverse, you gotta keep that in mind. Ceramic brakes, so the car stops at a dime. You do need heat in the tires. Now, this seems to me like it has normal summer tires on it, not the uh, Cup 2s or anything like that. My McLaren had the, uh, the Corsas, which really needed about 20 minutes to get heat on them. So it seems like the previous owner was smart here and didn't do, and uh, change those out to give a more reliable uh, street drive. So, so ceramics really stop you. Wow, this was a dream come true to drive this 600 LT. And I can see why, if you have the money, why you would get this over a 570S or 570 GT. So sight lines are good. You really have a good cockpit view here. You got really thick A pillars, which are of course much thicker than my NSX, but you do have kind of a good NSX view here. The GT, if you remember, was all sunroof. This is all coupe. There is no sunroof available for this car, but there is a convertible. So if you want drop town motoring, you could definitely get the convertible version of this car. All right, guys, so at this traffic light, I'm going to end the video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.